Hello everyone. So today I was uh, doing something on my server. In fact, I was not doing something. In fact, I was uh, actually installing a certificate, SSL certificate on uh, on on my server for one of the site. Now, in case you don't know, if you are uh, doing something online, if you visit a website, usually these days, at least in 2021, you will notice this uh, site if we talk about my site ravisaga.in it's a great site by the way <laughs> it starts with uh, https and uh, if you also see in your browser this lock sign it means that the connection is secure so basically there is a certificate which you know you need to install on the server now installing this certificate is i mean not really complicated but uh, for a lot of people it is uh, still a pain in fact i also don't really want to do it manually because you have to you have to generate a certificate then you have to configure your apache to use use that certificate it can be a you know pr- problematic uh, it, it is not really a straightforward uh, thing that you can do easily and uh, the thing with certificate is that or certificates is that you need to renew it regularly and uh, usually these certificates are uh, not free you have to buy them but there is one uh, organization called uh, let's encrypt they provide a certificate for free and uh, uh, the thing is that these free certificates are only valid for 3 uh, months and after 3 months uh, you can generate a new certificate and then you know you can continue to use it or you can just you know buy one if you want but they do pro- provide uh, a free certificate for 3 uh, months uh which which was the case uh, when i tried them and i'm still using them by the way on my on my sites because you know if it is free then why not use it and it works so for me for my personal needs for my small website it is more than enough now today i thought i'll probably show you how i can install a certificate and uh, for installing a certificate you can of course as i mentioned before do it manually and after 3 months you can renew it or maybe after after a year but using one application one command line based util- utility called cert bot you can actually do this uh, quite easily so let me show you how it works so there is a command that you know you can run um to basically um install the certificate and uh, this utility will make sure that the certificate is also renewed for you so let me show you this uh, utility and i'll run the command sudo cert bot hyphen hyphen apache because we want to do this for apache and what this will do it will list all the sites that i have on my server on my private server and uh, from this list what i can do is i can now select uh, the uh, site which for which i want to install the certificate now the site that i'm talking about today is this one georgeabraham.in which is uh, a wordpress site yes i do know a little bit of wordpress i'm not an expert but yeah i mean this is a site and right now it is not really secure and this site i recently moved it from a different server and i need to install the certificate so let us do it right now so what i'll do is uh, i will go to the um server and i will then uh, take a look at uh, all the sites that are listed here so i need to install it for uh, the first one which is listed here and if you press if you select the number and if you press uh, the um, if you press the key here it will basically do this installation for you so you can press one and it will open a new certificate it will basically do i mean your domain should resolve that is a thing if you are trying to do it for a very fresh new domain that you just purchased today um, and you are trying to do it on a on a server it might not work straight away the next thing that you may want to do is you want to also ensure that uh, if someone is coming to let us say http colon www. Uh, your site. com you want to redirect those users to https so you can do this using uh, i mean you have to basically configure your apache but this utility will do it for us so i can select here number 2 that i want this particular redirect to work so basically this utility is going to modify things in the apache configuration so this is it and uh, if i just take a look at my uh, vhost this will basically list so 
this will basically mo- make some modifications. So I'll, I'll take a look at the uh, f- to, to the section where uh, what this what this particular f- uh, what 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 this particular uh, utility has done. Uh, so now, so first thing it, it it did it basically installed the certificate, and I'll show you the file. Uh, so there is a separate file for SSL in your Apache configuration, but for the redirect, it will basically write these lines to your uh, um, Apache configuration for normal traffic, for your 80 traffic. But for 443, which is the port for usually the port for SSL, there is also another file. And uh, if I go and take a look at this vhost hyphen le hyphen SSL, it will basically do some changes. It will basically in, grab the certificate from uh, the server and it will place it somewhere on the server. I mean, it will basically, when you press that command for Apache certbot, it will uh, get the certificate from the authority and it will also download it for you and place it somewhere. So if you look at uh, this particular configuration for the same site, uh, for of course the uh, uh, HTTPS for SSL, there is a certificate file, which is uh, this one. There is also a private key. And uh, this is some, something that uh, this particular utility uh, utility has done for us. We don't have to do anything. I mean, you can, as I mentioned before, you can generate the certificate yourself manually. Then you can copy it on the server manually. And then you can modify your Apache manually. And uh, every time you have to renew, you have to do it again. I mean, when you renew, you just have to place a new certificate. And that is it. So this is all you need to do. And uh, of course, uh, this certificate thing might not uh, get uh, applied immediately, but it has surely worked because you can see here that the redirect is working. And when I refreshed, uh, it is now trying to redirect to HTTPS. So this has worked. And maybe I'll just you know restart the server just in case, because uh, why not? I think I should. So let me just restart. And uh, yes, this restart is working. And if I now refresh, I mean, of course, uh, it is not really going to work, but uh, it, it will work after like some time. Usually it takes like you know a couple of hours, but uh, this is something that you can also do if you want. So this video was actually more about uh, using CertBot to make your life easy so that you can, uh, uh, you can also use certificates. I think you should all, if you know, even if you're doing this for uh, a normal basic HTML based website, for example, I have a couple of websites like, you know, this one, ravisagar.com and also ravi.pro. These sites are hosted on GitLab. So I'm basically not paying paying them because GitLab is free. At least I'm using their free account, but you can also host websites and they give you a certificate for free. Usually these days, if you're using a, let us say, hosting provider like, you know, WebFaction, which they stopped, by the way, uh, they were they were bought by GoDaddy, unfortunately, because I was using them, uh, and they didn't migrate my site. But if you're using DreamHost, for example, or any other popular hosting provider, they will usually give you a certificate, which I think you should use. And uh, right now, of course, I'm looking at uh, Ruby.pro, and uh, they're also using Let's Encrypt. Uh, it is hosted on GitLab, but they are uh, using uh, Let's Encrypt. So, so Let's en- Encrypt is the authority which is basically giving the, the free certificates. Either you can conf- configure it manually, or you can configure it using third part, or you can, uh, if you're using those uh, standard, famous, known hosting providers, they will uh, also, most in, most likely they are also using Let's Encrypt. But in, the, in this video, I thought I'll probably show you how to do it yourself, because you should. And, uh, and I think it is something that uh, we all should try to do. Normally, in uh, all of my videos, I always say that uh, try to get your own website. It is not really a massive thing. I mean, go to godaddy.com or whatever hosting provider or domain provider. At least purchase a domain name. Because when you purchase a domain name, then you can actually host your site on GitLab for free or even on GitHub or maybe Bitbucket, for example, if you don't want to, if you don't really want to purchase your own server. I think you should. Uh, having your own server is always great. Or maybe you can try to host your site on your own local, uh, maybe your own f- computer, which you can maybe, uh, uh, I mean, you can also buy a dynamic, not, not dynamic, but you can also buy a static IP address. And uh, you can basically use your router's configuration for uh, 
dynamic DNS, which I did long back, but it works. So you can actually host your site from your own home server if you want. But I think that is, of course, going to be expensive if you, if you keep a server on all the time. It could be just your machine. It is going to, of course, you know, cost you money. I'm talking about the electricity cost, but if you have a server, proper server, then at least a VPS, then I think that is wonderful. If you're looking for uh, suggestions, um, I mean, uh, what I'll do in this particular uh, video, I'll probably share a couple of uh, couple of uh, hosting providers that I think you can take a look at. But uh, uh, GoDaddy, Linode, DigitalOcean, they are all good. Or, or, or you can use uh, maybe, you know, uh, some hosting providers in India as well. They are also quite quite okay. I was initially thinking of using AWS, which I am learning these days, by the way. Um, but uh, I think AWS uh, might not be the cheapest one because they, they do charge for uh, the number of uh, hours or not even hours, or even seconds that your server is up. Uh, but even then, uh, your your cost can can shoot up. So my recommendation, my, my personal recommendation would be to just purchase a, a VPS that will probably cost you maybe maybe five, six, seven dollars. And I think that is more than enough for normal sites. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you. Bye bye.